So The Fox is a great tune, a um, song that shows up in a lot of collections of children's music. Very old song, I believe. And um, it's a really good tune in the key of D to get yourself used to the most common chord changes that you're going to do in the key of D. So I'm playing uh, the same chord progression around and around each verse. And um, we're starting with a regular old D chord and I'm doing a bass note strum, alternating bass, bass note strum. Fox went out on a chilly night, prayed for the moon to A, give him light, alternating bass. Starting to split some measures between the two, you know, two chords. Before he, okay, before he the town All right, so you're gonna do only the first of the alternating bass notes for the D and the A chord. Fourth string strum. Go to the A chord. Fifth string strum. Okay. Hard to remember the chords when I'm doing this slow. So that's your foundation, is um, an alternating bass for the three different chords. As you can see though, it has a couple of real quick changes. Let's um, fast forward to where I was a second ago. So, Fox went out on a chilly night, prayed for the moon to give him light. Many miles ago that night, before he reached the town, oh. And you go to A again, town, oh. Back to D, down, oh. He, many a mile to go that night. Okay, so it's a lot of quick changing back and forth, and this actually is probably a good example of, you may have a song that's just three chords, you know, the three primary chords, so in this case D, G, and A in the key of D, but it can still get a little, a little tricky if there's a bunch of quick bouncing back and forth uh, like there is at the end of this chord progression. Now... I think with enough practice, you'll you'll get it down, and obviously, you know, looking at the the music for the song is going to help you. Let's look at the connections I'm making. I'm only using a few to start the song off and to lead into the D chord. I'm doing a run using the D major scale up the fifth string. So open fifth string, second fret, third fret. A lot of times I'm using my pinky because. Uh, if you're holding the D chord, you can actually kind of reach over and still have these two fingers, the top two notes of the D chord, held down. And the destination is that open four string. And so forth. I'm leading into the G chord usually with an open six string. So that's open 6th string, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, into that G chord, so... Okay. So, Fox went out on chilly night, prayed for the moon, usually going directly to the A. I think once or twice I may have done a reverse of that walk up on the 5th string to go from the A. You can go down to the A chord like that. the moon to give him light many a mile to go that night before he reached the town of town of town of many a mile to go that night before he reached the town that's really about it um a walk up on the fifth string a walk up on the sixth string sometimes when i'm playing the g chord i'm hammering on the note on the fifth string Instead of going 6th string strum, 4th string strum, which is the typical pattern for the G chord, I'm going 6th string strum, 5th string with a hammer on strum. So that's about all there is to it. These are all really good um, things to know though for really any tune in the key of D. 
you're going to find yourself doing a lot of this in fiddle tunes in the key of D, which also often have really quick changes from the G to the A to the D and so forth. So, The Fox, really a good song to know. 